here um, this chapter we will study about uh, qualitative analysis of uh, beams actually here you could see that the stress versus strain we have a linear portion for elastic range after that plastic range continuous so whatever we are doing in our structural analysis is that the basic uh, assumptions underlying in our elastic analysis of structures the first is that for all loading cases the structure is within elastic range of material behavior you understand right for all the loads whatever it's coming and acting on the structure we will assume that the structure is behaving at an elastic range that means if you apply the load it will go deformations and stresses and if you release the load the deformations and, and uh, stresses it will go off and it will come to its original state that means stress is directly proportional to strain and deflections directly proportional to load that is the case we are uh, making it here you can see it the deflections are directly proportional to load stresses are directly proportional to strain this is a strain in vertical axis and uh, stress in vertical axis and strain in the horizontal axis uh, so load if you increase deflection also would increase linearly that is the uh, assumptions we are making it for this the second point here we will uh, state here the second assumption is that deformations due to the loading do not create secondary bending moments so here what we are trying to explain that we are making an assumption that deformations deformation for example here w2 load is there w1 load is also there okay here the load w2 will cause bending in the cantilever bc bending in the cantilever bc which will result in a horizontal deflection at b that is delta bh at b there is a horizontal deflection which is caused by the load w2 because of that load w2 bc is bending while bending this uh, point b is moving horizontally so that deflection is delta bh the secondary moment w1 into delta bh is ignored because once it moves here the load position is this one so load position and horizontal deflection it is so here the load w2 is causing bending in the cantilever bc which will result in horizontal deflection delta bh the second moment w1 into delta bh is ignored in ingenious theory of bending it is assumed that deformations due to loading do not result in significant changes in the structural geometry what does it mean in ingenious theory of bending it is assumed that deformations due to loading do not result in significant changes in the structural geometry that means because of this load whatever the deformation is coming that will not result in significant changes in the structural geometry uh, it means it's not a large deflection analysis small deflection analysis here you can see this uh, member vertical member it cannot change its length vertically so length remains same a b in this one so it moves only in this uh, horizontal line only there is no vertical zone so it moves horizontally so this side why it moves means because once w2 is pushing it down it will come down so whatever the amount it moves here this also it moves there but it will come down so for this c we will have vertical deflection so it's horizontal deflection but for b we will have only horizontal deflection so from here if you see it this is 90 degree it will maintain so this is single curvature so it goes upwards and from here to here also it's a single curvature so only it comes like this one on tensile side it is written